Hello, this is Sylvain Vervoort with a special video about long-term stock trading based on trend lines. This part 5 is an extension of parts 2 and 4 with a long-term trading example using trend lines and support and resistance levels. If you like this video, pay a visit to my website at stoccata.org. The final purpose of this video series is to teach you how to trade successfully applying technical analysis. Can we make a profit on trendline breaks using a long-term monthly chart? Let's find out. We are December 28, 1990. We are looking at a long-term monthly logarithmic chart of a bank stock. Price is down more than 50% and has broken a long-term support line. It is clear that for the moment we have no confidence in this stock and we are only prepared to buy it when the long-term downtrend line is broken by a monthly closing price. Nine months later, September 1991. The long-term logarithmic downtrend line is broken. Assume we have $5,000 we can invest in this stock. We are buying 1,100 shares for a total cost of $4,950. Let's see if we can draw a new uptrend line. The lows at the start of the up move looks okay, point of view inclination but actual prices are too far away from this trend line. However, creating a parallel line with this line and moving it up, you can see that low prices show clearly the same inclination at the level of the actual price action. We will use this parallel trend line projected into the future. Up to July 30, 1993, monthly closing prices remain above the trend line. Price made a new turning point up now and is moving very far away from the basic long-term trend line. Time to draw a new sharper uptrend line. November 30. Price is again far away from the trend line and moving up with high volatility. Since the start of the up move, price has more than doubled. So it is certainly a good idea to draw a third sharper uptrend line to keep as much profit as possible when a correction would start. February 28, 1994. The position is closed when price drops through the steepest trend line. This is confirmed, as we later will see, in candlestick patterns with a doji candle at the top and the following candle with a lower closing price. There is a nice profit with a buying price at $4.50 and a selling price at $7.81. Since you expect the reaction now, you open a short position here. Since you cannot draw a downtrend line right now, you can keep a stop loss at the last top at $8.37. May 31, 1995, price falls back to a previous resistance level, now becoming support. Closing prices are holding above this support level. The original longer term uptrend line is also giving support. The downtrend line is now broken. Time to close the short position and open a new long position. You can keep a stop loss at the level of the long term uptrend line. We sold the stock at $7.81 and are now buying it back at $6.78, a small profit. August 31, 1998, the closing price breaks through the accelerated uptrend line. We bought the stock at $6.78 and are now selling at $20.42, a profit of about 
since price is breaking a longer term large up move, it is suddenly a good idea to go short now. November 30, 1998 Price falls very sharply, losing more than 50%. To give a better idea of what kind of move you are looking at, you can change the vertical price axis to a linear scale. Price made a low close to a support at $11. That month is showing a big positive white candle, now confirmed with another white candle with a higher closing price. There are five levels of support available now. It looks like it is time to close the short position and to open another long one. You can keep a stop loss at $15.8 or ultimately at the support of the last long term uptrend line. We sold the stock at $20.42 and are now buying it back at $17.88 once more a good profit. February 28, 2001 From the buying point price moves up slowly in line with the long term uptrend line. Because of the very big and sharp reaction at the buying point it was not possible to draw a trend line from the lowest point so you would take the low of a previous bar. This trend line is clearly also in line with a long term uptrend and a support line. The trend line is now broken. You close the long position and open a new short position. You bought at $17.88 and are selling now at $20.9. A good profit. Looking at the big picture since the start of the long term up move, it was clear that you expected a bigger long term correction. Reason why you kept the not that sharp downtrend line at the start of the downtrend. Price fell but reacted back to this trend line. Also exactly at the level of a previous support and now resistance line and bouncing back against the longer term uptrend line. At the next reaction you would draw a sharper downtrend line. This one is broken May 30, 2003. Time to close the short position and open a new long one with a stop at the previous support around $15. You sold at $20.9 and are buying back now at $16.45, a very good profit. We are closing the trade January 31, 2008. A few months later there was no more data for the stock as it was bought by another company. The trend line drawn from the very volatile bars at the bottom is generally not usable. So what you would do from the buying moment is keeping an eye on the nearby previous support line that moment in time. Since this support was holding you could start drawing uptrend lines that gradually started accelerating. The last one is broken January 31, 2008. You close the long trade which you bought at $16.45 and selling now at $37.62, more than a 100% profit. Have a look at this table showing all transactions to look at the final result of 17 years of long term trading in this stock. Just looking once a month and just looking at trend lines, support and resistance lines and only making 7 trades. We started with $5,000 and now have more than $132,000. Not bad for an hour's work once a month. That makes 2,600% profit on your starting capital or more than 20% compounded interest per year. That's it concerning this special video about long term trading 
based on trend lines and support and resistance lines. I hope you like it. Watch out for more. Stay in touch, subscribe to my channel, tell your friends and pay a visit to my website stockata.org. Have a nice day and I hope I see you in my next training video.